as always thanks for taking some time out of your day to check out this video from netpix and today i'm going to talk about a trading indicator called the mass index and it's for trading reversals and it's funny because you know when you do enough of these videos and you know enough uh, indicators out there you know you get a whole bunch that are just doing the same thing so let's just talk about this and uh, you can make up your own mind if it's something you're going to check out and what's good about having an indicator that shows when a reversal is on its way or potentially on its way is it helps you avoid catching that falling knife that's just in you know, the market's falling and you're trying to catch it, but the reversal is not there yet, right? But it does this by giving you a heads up when that reversal could be taking place. And I say the word could because nothing's guaranteed. But not only that, it gives you a signal that the reversal is probably taking place, okay? And that's gonna allow you to adjust your trading strategy. So how does it do it? When Donald Dorsey invented the mass index, it's basically a volatility indicator. He did so on the idea that when a trend is changing, we start to see a widening in the range of price. And price action traders, you guys will use the term exhaustion thrusts or failure tests. And essentially what that is, is a last gasp for buyers or sellers in whatever market you're looking at. So we see an expansion in the price, right? The high, low range. And that will oftentimes be a sign of potential reversals in price, even if it's a short-lived one. So you can see here on this chart, a few examples of a bullish trend reversal, except for the last one, where price made obvious pushes in one direction and then flipped the other way. Now over there, that plus 27 reading, that's what you're looking for to give you the heads up of a trend reversal that could be imminent. Okay, it's not a trading signal to buy or sell, just buy when it hit that level. Okay, so get that out of your head. So essentially, you're going to be looking for a reading 27 and over. Basically call that a reversal bulge. And then you're going to use your tools and your tactics to enter the trade. So how would you use that? Okay, well, now you know it's a, at its basics, it's a volatility indicator. And we know that it looks for ranges of previous periods to expand. And it uses various calculations and involves EMAs, default setting of nine, so the indicator plots that line. So when it exceeds plus 27, reversal could be about to occur. But there's another level, and it's that green line, and that's set at 26.5. This is a confirmation that the reversal is probably underway. Now, there's nothing magic about this indicator or any other indicator out there. Okay, and why was the EMA over the SMA being used? Or why was the nine period and not the 10 period? who knows right but the key is whether you're going to find any use in this to improve your own trading now, some people will some people won't right depends on the trader so essentially you're going to use the indicator to spot potential trend reversals and that can either help you lighten your current position or get ready to trade the actual reversal so we want to apply another tool with that and i like to use technical analysis obviously and whether you're using a trend line, whether you're using price pivots or individual price patterns, whatever you're using, you really can't go wrong when you use price. Remember, just because that indicator crosses that plus 27, it doesn't mean that price is just going to rip in the other direction. It's a warning, right? It's the potential of a change. So we check out this stock chart. We see the indicators broken above 27, right? So we start to look for signs of the change in trend. Now, when you draw trend lines, you need rules, and one of mine is you got to connect the last swing into a high or a low, okay? So here, the trend line's broken. The bearish trend reversal is confirmed. We trade the first pullback in price once it begins to head to the downside, right? You can also use pending orders. So remember that 26 and a half number I talked about, 26.5? We could actually use that as a setup, but need confirmation of price moving in our direction. And we do that by using pending orders. So all we do here is we look for the plus 27 level to be broken. Is it broken? Yes, good. 
Then we watch for the line to drift under 26.5 and then we place an order, and in this case it's short, under the low of that small range. And if price continues to the downside, boom, you're in the trade. Now, as with most indicators, you can adjust the settings of the mass index. When you're facing market conditions that are low volatility, you may want to adjust the settings to make quicker movements. And I say may, because I generally do not adjust the default settings of an indicator. You may also consider doing that if you're trading more of a short-term uh, approach, like on a 15-minute or 10-minute, five-minute chart. But I always say this, if you look for that perfect setting that can take you down the rabbit hole, okay? You're wasting time looking for that magic input while you should be working your strategy is not the best choice. So let's wrap it up. It's a pretty simple indicator, right? It measures the range of price over a set period. And when it does that, it takes advantage of a natural evolution of price when you're looking at potential trend reversals. Now, price exhaustion, we can measure that with other indicators as well, including the Keltner channel, which is my favorite. This indicator just kind of gives you a different look at it. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Because there's no perfect indicator out there, you got to have some knowledge of how price moves if you want to be successful in any way, right, to reach your trading goals. And as always, always, always test out everything you're going to do before you risk real money. Always design a trading plan and stick to it. That's it. It's pretty simple. Any questions or comments, pop them below. And make sure you like this video and we'll talk to you soon.